What's up, everybody? I'm Jeremy from the J Jugular channel. What is up, guys? It is John, you know, the Game Master guys here. And we're back for more Sonic 1. And in the last part, John successfully cleared out Spring Yard Zone, and now we're here in Labyrinth Zone, the worst zone of the entire game. This is not an opinion, it's straight facts. I don't know. I can't imagine someone saying their favorite Sonic Zone is Labyrinth Zone. I don't know. They're, they're probably delusional. Just saying. If it's anything I like about this zone, it's probably the the music. That's it. Nah, I don't know. The music kind of gives me PTSD. <laughs> it's like the first thing you hear in a Sonic game is dun 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 dun. Fuck. I mean, to be honest, I prefer Lost Labyrinth music over this from Sonic Four. I know I'm probably gonna get hated for that, but I mean, at least Labyrinth Zone from Sonic Four does not give me PTSD on like this level here. No, I never got around to playing Sonic Four. Um, I mean, you're not missing out much. It's just something you probably would only play once, maybe never again. Unless you're like, doing content on it, and there's that. Nah, I'm good. I'm pretty sure the only reason I only played is to play it at Torrance's house, and I was just probably in sixth grade, was just like, oh, Sonic, ah, I'm, I'm just now playing his games. He's so cool. Like, I think I played anything that was Sonic at that point, just to get into it. I mean, Sonic 4 is not bad or anything. It's just that it's not. It doesn't really stand up true to the Genesis titles. Like the physics are kind of, uh, the level design is pretty meh. But I mean, it's not bad, but it's just mediocre at best. Valid, valid. But uh, Labyrinth Zone. So this zone sucks for a number of reasons. One, it is a very, very, very slow s zone due to it being completely underwater. And this is Sonic the Hedgehog we're talking about, a game about going fast. Like I said, Sonic 1 had an identity crisis in terms of what they want their level design to be. It was really bad, to the point to where you're underwater, and you can't even run. So, the shittier thing about this is, Sonic cannot breathe underwater. So, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's other video games where, they, where like, characters can swim. They can breathe infinitely, but Sonic here gets rolled out in air. Oops. Oh my god, lag. Like, Oh my, yeah, and I think this is, like, the f the only zone that has, like, s really bad, like, lag, right? Due to, like, too much stuff on the screen at one time? Well, I think it's because I had so many rings on me, and it was pretty cramped with everywhere. So, yeah, I mean, you're not too far off there. But, yeah, in the air. So, yeah, this zone is, oh, God, it's so bad. You know, it's really sad, too. And this game is really good, but the speed does not pick back up until starlight zone which is the next zone after this it's a very forgettable zone to me but it doesn't really pick back up until that i just feel i mean yeah i mean personally like the, i mean so i think like sonic team did a better job um yeah i mean yeah i was, I was gonna ask myself if sonic team was around this i mean they have been yeah i mean i think i mean like in later games they did a much better job oh god they did a much better job in terms of uh, okay that's my ring but they did a better job in terms of like how they want their underwater level structured because they made it more fun in later games. Like it was not slow at all. They, they still made it kind of fast. Yeah, and I think the only other thing I just I don't know. It's this zone just screams PTSD, and I don't feel like playing Sonic right now. Like I get to the zone, I'm like, okay, I'm done playing Sonic One for another two months. Damn. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I mean, if you're dedicated to binge it, then go ahead. I mean, for me, I probably would stop here. Cause it just, it's just a chore to go through. And it doesn't help that there's more than, um, more than freaking three, I mean, more than two acts in this game. So, yeah. It is god awful. I can go ahead and tell you that right now. But, um, I don't remember Labyrinth Zone 2. Is this the one with the puzzle? It's like, it's an endless loop. I think it's Act 3. I mean, actually, maybe not too far. Uh, no, it's not. This is Act 3. Because I was going to say, I, they, they brought that back in Sonic 3. For ice cap zone and i was like guys if you really like this zone that much holy fuck just just put it somewhere you know what i'm saying like yeah put us on generations jk don't do that don't don't do that <laughs> there's no reason to do that you know they they don't bring back any other zone in sonic one other than green hill i, I think they just rubbed green hill's dick so much to the point to where it's just like it's everywhere well it's the only good zone in the game i am fucking worried there's, oh god i'm actually kind of scared dude there's i'm pretty sure there's something to the right there you go don't drown. Don't drown. Don't drown. Don't drown. Don't drown. Don't drown. Oh. No, it was right there! Man, I'm so much so the moon! Okay, John, how do you feel? You feel better? Feel a bit better? I got air. <laughs> you feel a bit better no. now? You got you got your lifeguard support? 
Yes, I got three. I got three extra lives. But the only sacrifice it cost it was my high score. There goes my high score, Rip. <laughs> so I'm, we basically showed off the reason why this zone sucks, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, yeah, this also gives every childhood kids, I mean, like PTSD from the drowning music because I know it scares them. Yeah, I, one of our close friends was talking about it, and I think he said his first time like hearing that as a kid. He said like it was just the scariest shit he ever heard. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty scary. Not gonna lie, the Johnny music. I mean, shit. I mean, I would not want to drown into that. Oh, that helped me. Is this game. I mean, this this level is so generous with rings. Oh god. Okay. But yeah, um, I don't know, man. I they never brought back any other zone. I I personally think if they had to bring back, well. Yep, no, they didn't. Let's bring back Starlight. That was a good zone. Starlight is a good zone. The music, though, could... Uh, eh, mm. I mean, it's not bad. Maybe a little oomph could work. A little oomph, a little, a little salt and pepper could have put something together, maybe? Yeah, put some Genesis... Put some Genesis love into it. Some Genesis yeah. bling, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, God. Fuck this. I don't like this. Oh, oh this is the only Sonic game that has that happen, huh? Where you, where you duck and then the camera goes down? Yes, it's really useless. That's dumb. I really don't understand games like that where they give you the ability to look up. Like, Super Mario World, I think, is a prime example where, like, you just look up and Mario doesn't do anything but crook his neck. <laughs> I mean, it does for visual aesthetic. I mean, you can change the camera in that game by, um, by holding... Yep, see? This is, I mean, this is pretty... What just late. happened? What what just happened? Okay, I, I saved this back in Green Hill Zone, but this version of Sonic 1, I mean, I don't know why Sega would use this version, to be honest. It's the earlier version where the spikes, they don't give you invincibility frames when you get hit. So literally, it's an instant, it's, it's an instant kill if there's like no way to escape from it. Basically. I'm not going to lie. From my view, it looked like you just walked into the spikes and you were just like, oh, that looks neat. Let me try that. And then you just fucking walked onto them. I mean, that's how I kind of feel. I mean, yeah, it's really stupid. Did you, did you walk onto them or were you just trying to walk off the platform? No, like, okay. Like, you know, when you, when you get hit by enemies, you bounce back. But then... I don't know, for some reason with spikes, you do not get an invincibility frame when you get hit by a spike. You just basically, I don't know, you, get, you just get hit, bounce back again, just, oh my god. And see, this is obviously the worst enemy placement ever because there's literally no way to jump up. Oh my god, John. <laughs> I mean, I died from BS, so I had a reason, fair excuse. At least I'm back to three, though, it's better than two. Fair excuse, he's in Labyrinth Zone, so he has a reason he can die. Fuck this. What is it done? Rest in peace, that bubble. <laughs> oh my god. Just. I mean, I'm fine. There's rings up here at least. I mean, I'm gonna be optimistic here, but like. I mean, this game is still good as it is, but I mean, like, replaying this for the millionth time. I mean, I can see why I replay this the least. I think, like, I'm starting to realize now why compared to other games. So that one ain't bad, but. I mean, you can say the same for any first games. Like, I mean, personally, I do like Mario 1 a lot. And then, but I know that Mario World and, and Super Mario Bros. 3 are better games. Because uh, um, they have more mechanics, more levels, and better and better visuals and aesthetics. Yeah. Um, you can say for Crash. I know Crash, he... I don't know, Crash 1, he was fucking hard as shit and it was basic as hell. But then in Crash 2, they need to do some new, I don't, new maneuvers for Crash. Like, you can slide and such. And then... I feel like it's just the... Like, where they were released at during their time. Like, if you look at Mario 1, like, we just need a game to release that people are going to play. And that somewhat is more interesting than your average run of the mill Sega Genesis game. Not Sega Genesis, but uh Atari game. I mean, you know, Mario One was pretty was was pretty much like a big hit at its time. I mean, it was a side scroller. The screen moves. It's not like you go to multiple screens and the, and the screen is stationary. Like it legit scrolls. Like you are actually moving towards like another adventure. Like this is a maze, by the way. I mean, it's pretty easy now. Yeah. But, I mean, hey, this game did its did I mean did its experiments. I mean, they show what worked and what couldn't. I mean, this game was it was so I mean it, it started something. Not I mean not everything's gonna go on a perfect start. It's always good to experiment stuff. Yeah, fun fact: my first time, actually two fun facts. Something we probably should have noticed. John brought this to my realization. The first thing when I actually played Labyrinth Zone for the first time when I was a what I don't know when I actually played Sonic Genesis for the first time. I know it was through the Mega Collection, so I was probably like fourteen. Um, when I got to act three of this bullshit, I actually was on here almost 10 minutes just because I didn't know how to get through the first section. Oh my God. You're about to die. Aren't you? 
Yep. Oh my god, <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, he just literally just flew off. I mean, he was like, screw it, just kept going. Oh man, you, you know, I feel like Sega somewhat knew what they were doing, though. When they put, even though, oh, the second thing is, Labyrinth Zone was apparently supposed to be the second zone after this, after Green Hill. Yeah, I remember we talked about it earlier, and, and if you go through level select, I thought it was a Japanese version or other other versions of the PAL, but no, it's actually in this version, too. I actually looked at it, and yeah, I saw Labyrinth Zone literally right after Marble Zone. I mean, Green Hill, sorry. So basically, Marble Zone and, and this, I mean, this zone here in particular, they both swapped places. Oh, God. I'm not going to even lie. Um, I honestly just think that um, this is the worst game they'll probably speed run. I mean, you know what? You can speed run this game, but I feel like after you speed run it, you probably don't want to ever play it ever again. I mean, you probably uh, would, but... I mean, there's better games to speed run than Sonic 1. Yeah, and but... like I said, I mean, it's not bad on its own. Maybe like for maybe if it's like Mario, that'd be fine, I guess. But if it's Sonic standards, I don't know. It does not meet does not meet the expectations. Fools! I only speed run Green Hill. <laughs> Yeah, that, maybe that's, yeah, because Green Hill actually kind of had a good formula and design for Sonic. It was about speed. I mean, a little bit of platforming, but yeah, mostly speed. So my my All the rest is slow. my next question is like, what zones after this one kind of got influenced by this one? You think like what zones were actually like okay, so this one's not gonna propel you. All right then. I think I just think Green Hill and um, I mean, Mar and Starlight Zone were actually were the perfect examples of how Sonic's levels should have been. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the zones in Sonic games that feature water, like, I feel like for Sonic 2, it was, what, Aquatic Ruin? Aquatic Mine, but yeah, I mean, oh my god, it's like... Aquatic Mine? I thought that was Sonic Adventure 2. I mean, Aquatic Ruin, sorry. Yeah, you said it right. I mean, I... Um, Jesus Christ, I gotta mix up between those two names. Wants to play Sonic Adventure 2 so bad, he's that sick of Labyrinth Zone. God, leave. I mean, the music there is pretty fire for Aquatic Mine. It's Knuckles. It's gonna be fire regardless. You know, Knuckles has not appeared in this game yet. Oh gosh. Are you doing... No, I lost my momentum. Wait, uh, are you gonna fall? Oh my god, you don't have any visibility. I mean, I did fall, but I didn't die. I just fell to the bottom path. I feel like, holy shit, man, this is a god. So, like, the boss for this area is this? Do you have to hurt Eggman? If I remember, I thought you only have to get to the top before he does. Yeah, if you get to the top, you chase him. I know when I was young, I used to think that you have to ch I mean, you had to um hit him. It was like kind of impossible, but then I realized like, oh, you just chase him. I feel like you should get some bubbles. You should you should definitely get some bubbles. I did get a bubble. You know, okay, I back at this part again. Oh gosh. There wasn't water here before there, wasn't there? Oh my god. Rings. Oh my god, he bounced too crazy. Come on, bounce back. Fuck. Okay. Alright, so what what should I count this as another life gone in your record book or no! I, I have faith in you. I really do. Man, they already came in this labyrinth. I mean, I think I took... I don't know what path I'm going for, honestly, because there's, like, so many paths here. I mean, it's, it's, not, a, it's not, like, a maze-like level, but I'm taking a, a unique path. Man, what I was supposed to? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Gotta take my time, basically. Yeah, dude, just, uh... I just don't like the way the fucking things are swinging around. It's like it's conflicting you to jump. I mean, it's not too bad. At least you can jump in between. Oh, God. There's not going to be any bubbles up here, though. Oh, God, air. I'm so happy for you. Hey, I love air. Why the fuck okay. does the background like Whiz Pig from Diddy Kong Racing? What? Are you talking about those little, face, those little faces? Or yeah, or that, or it looks like Ganon when he's in his pig form. They have a point. It looks, they do look pretty derpy. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump, jump, jump. Yeah. It'd be nice to get like an extra life or anything from that. I think it's boss fight time. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. No, no, I, yep, this is the, yep, this is it. Wait, I think there's a shield. Hold on, there's a shield somewhere up there if I keep going. Nope. Oh, that was wrong. Well, you're completely- What I jumped? What? What was that? <laughs> that was I bullshit. Did you probably clip on the edge. Yeah, um, that was kind of bullshit. It looked like you clipped. It's like you jumped and immediately got put right back down. So if you don't... Yeah, I know. Oh, there's a frame. So if you don't make it right there, do the sponges just come back down, or...? Um, I mean, I think, it was, I think it'll stay outside. 
Oh god, I just literally realized you have only one life left. Yeah, I know. This is what Labyrinth Zone does. They should really give you rings. I'm pretty sure Eggman's gonna pop up. Oh, there it is. That is a shield, but this is good enough. I'll take it. I mean, I know what I'm doing. It's just, this is more of an obstacle course. Does does Eggman drop anything, or does the water just keep rising? It arises. He doesn't drop anything, luckily. Yeah, you don't have to fight him. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now we have slow momentum and spikes. John, I literally believe in you right now. Oh, gosh. Wrong show? I believe in you. Well, thanks for believing me. I get Paranorma for the freaking thing. Oh, my God. And there's literally no bubbles. Wait, I see. I see. Oh, gosh. Oh god, it's right there. It's right there. What? Ah! Ah! <laughs> jumped out of it. Holy shit. No. <laughs> I didn't really realize it was that long range for me to get stabbed by it. Holy shit. Okay. So. There you go. I beat it. See? Yeah, we did it. Fair and square. Fuck this zone. Fuck this entirety. Fuck Wizpig. Fuck Ganon. Fuck Pigma. Fuck whatever else that thing is on the bottom left. <laughs> Fuck edgy porky pig there. I don't know. Edgy porky pig? What the f- Yes, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. Yeah, guys, we, we're, we're done. We're, we're not ever going to play Sonic 1 ever again. Well, John probably isn't after this. Um, we have recorders. I mean, Sonic Zone is next, so we can play some good zones. You say that. Just hopefully we don't fall off the edge. It's like we're on some goth shit here. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this part, you enjoyed John's suffering. You can check out part three to find any other suffering he might have had. He didn't really suffer, but it was still fun to watch. He did good. He's showing his Sonic one goodness. Yeah, right. I want to go back. To, I want to go to Sonic two instead. I'd play better in that game than this. I mean, I'm not gonna say monstrosity. This game's so good, but it has a spot. Sonic Comedy. Yeah, it's very confusing at times. But I'm not gonna hold this part for too long. Uh, go ahead and stay tuned for part five, where we'll be doing Starlight Zone. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.